Hello everybody and welcome to another video with Iron Gwyn. Yay! And welcome to another review. Now you may notice I didn't say Lego review like I normally do. Because this isn't a Lego set review. But it is a set review. This is a review of the McFla of McFarlane Toys set number 14525 called... Daryl with Chopper. This is a Walking Dead set with 154 pieces. So, yeah. I'm going to say now, if you are a younger viewer who has not watched The Walking Dead, there will be some mentions of blood and gore and some characters of blood and gore in this video. So, I do suggest if you are a younger viewer... Don't don't watch this video. So, now that that's out of the way, let's get on with the set. So, here is the set. It's pretty much split into two parts. So, let's start with the base, then we'll look at the motorbike. Now, the base of this set is a section of road. Uh, it's made with these textured pieces. I don't really know how to show it on camera, but they... The pieces themselves feel rough. You might be able to see a bit of that. And some of them even have gashes in. So this is all textured and you can feel it. And the yellow line along the edge is slightly raised. These barriers have all the dents and stuff in them. The, the dents are not themselves um, painted. They are molded in. Well, they're, they're then painted over with a wash type paint, but they are molded in. And if I take the barriers out you can see that there are specific pieces with a little bit of almost foliage growing out of them that's grown around the pillars holding the barriers in and at the back you can see the pieces where the road becomes dirt which is much higher raised um yeah much higher raised texture there's loads of these little plant pieces let's see if it will focus there we go there's loads of these little plant pieces and they just slot into these pieces with holes in them and they're rubbery so that they move but there's so many of them they're very fiddly and it's quite annoying now this piece here is very unique very nice design it's a bent damaged bullet hole you can't see it there we go it's a bent damaged um, interstate sign with bullet holes in it. It looks really good. Now let's get on to the figures. Actually, let's look at the motorbike first. So this is the motorbike. It's very detailed with a piece for the engine, a different type of piece for the seat. It's all built together. Now, on its own, it doesn't stand up very well. If I just place it, it will fall over. You can see there's a raised bump here. And I don't know if you can see, but in the bottom of the tyre, there's a hole. So the bike slots onto that hole because this is supposed to be a display piece, not a play piece. And it all looks really good. Now, there is one problem I found with it. It's all very inconsistent with the way McFarlane produces it. So the tiles between are very loose and don't fit together. And some pieces don't fit on at all. This here is supposed to be an exhaust pipe for the bike. I have tried everything I can think of and it will not fit onto the bike. There, there must be something wrong with the way it's shaped or the way it's built, but it just not does not go on. There's also a kickstand for the bike that may have helped with stability that doesn't work either. Now I've just realised this is supposed to be on the bike, but it isn't. This is a piece to be Daryl's famous crossbow. Let it focus. Uh, this is a very well printed piece. There's no painting because it would be very hard to paint something this small. But this piece just slots in the back of the bike there like that. Right, so there's two figures in this set, so let's now look at them. Right, I'm going to start with looking at the Daryl figure, because he can't stand up on his own, so I have to show him on the bike. He is 
permanently in a sitting position. His torso and legs don't fit very well together, but... And you can see there's also a separation in his head and neck. I'm going to push that back so the camera focuses on him. Okay. There's also a separation between his head and neck and his torso and legs. Uh, the arms do move, but they're quite stiff. Uh, there's a moulded knife onto his side, which looks really good. And it's a very detailed figure, considering how small it is. So I really like it. Now, the other in figure in this set is a walker, or a zombie, if you aren't really into Walking Dead. So, uh, the blood details are really good. His arms move independently, um, up and down, just like Daryl's do, but... Oh, they're supposed to, but they're very stiff. His legs do come unattached, because there's a difference in the construction of the walkers and the people. Where the walker's legs attach and there's a piece of pelvis that connects to the upper torso. Whereas people, their legs are connected to the torso. So, um, McFarlane does have their own little, like, base. Oh, and his head fell off while I was holding from the head. Of course it did. Okay. They do have their own little, like, base here. I don't know if you can see it very well on the camera. But it clips into this hook on the back of his leg. And he's supposed to stand up with it. He doesn't stand up very well. But he's just loose on the base anyway. I have found that they do fit round minifigure studs. Which is a bit more secure if I shake this. Whereas if I was to put him on his base and shake it, he'll just fall off. So, I'll put in Iron Gwyn so that there's something for you to look at. So there is... Um, something else I'd like to look at in this video. Now that is it for the set. But around the time of the release of this set, there was also a figure collectible series. I got two of these blind bags. One zombie blind bag and one person blind bag. And it just happened to be a complete coincidence that... I got another figure of Daryl and another regular zombie. So now I'm going to look at them. So I'm going to again say this is not part of the set. This is a collectible blind bag figure. This one holds the crossbow. As you can see here, um, there's a little bit of white around his hand. That's because the crossbow is very loose and doesn't stay on very well. So I have held it in place with blue tack. Uh, the knife that's on the other one is also on his leg. And it seems to be a very similar figure, but it isn't the same figure. None of the pieces are the same. Not the torso, not the arms, none of it. It is a completely different figure, uh, moulding-wise. Not even the head's the same. They have a slightly different facial expression. I really like this figure, and I'm glad that I can pose them differently, so I have one that's sitting on the bike and one that's not. But I do wish that with the blind bags... Because I could only get two before what I was using sold out. Because I didn't know about Walking Dead when these were released back in like 2011. So I didn't collect them. But I could have also got a Michonne, a Carl or a Governor. All of which would have looked, would have been very different to the Daryl I got with the bike. So now let's look at the other zombie. So this one is just called Male Herd Walker. So it is just a basic zombie. And there is a female one that I could have got instead. There is also one of Michonne's pet zombies. And Sophia as a zombie that also could have been got in this blind bag series. This guy has a gap molded into his stomach where his intestines have come out. Okay, I feel like now's a good time to warn you that I have some work going on in my house at the moment, so there might be a bit of noise. So I'm just going to say that. Just ignore it if it happens. So he's also got some details of blood on his legs and some around his jaw where he's recently feasted on a dead person. And there is another hole in his back as well. So this is the box, it says Walking Dead at the top, it says building sets in multiple languages, name is down here, 
company pieces, 12 plus, and um, the amount of pieces is here. And on the back, it shows um, what comes in the set. So it shows Daryl and one of the zombies. And it says you can customize it here. That's what that says, customizable landscape. It means that you can move the plants around. Uh, build Daryl's iconic chopper, which, yeah, and highly detailed environment, which is, again, very true. And at the bottom, it says collect them all. And down here, it shows uh, the prison and tower gate. The um, These four in the middle are from the collectible series, but Rick there and Merle are from a separate set, which just came with Rick, Merle, and a bunch of zombies. Here are the instructions. Uh, it has an actual picture of Norman Reedus' face. And then here it shows Daryl and the zombie from the set and a bit of the sidebar. And on the back it has another advert for the prison tower and gate. Another advert for the collectible minifigure series plus um, Rick from the other series. Shows the governor's room here which is a very interesting set. Governor on his chair, his zombie daughter, and his head's in the wall. And then it shows there this set. So while it's been sitting out the side of my light box here, um, it seems a load of the plants have fallen out, which is my main gripe with this set. The plants don't fit in very well, and as part of that, they fall out a lot and very easily. Some of the pieces, especially on the figures, don't fit together very well, so it's a very loose connections which can look a little odd. But altogether, I think it was really good, and it's the only collectible... It's the only construction sets that we have of The Walking Dead. So, yeah, I like it. I'm pleased with it. And I'm glad we have it. You may have noticed I didn't give this set a rating. That is because normally I rate Lego sets, and this is the only McFarlane set I have reviewed. I do own some McFarlane Five Nights at Freddy's sets that I may review at some point, but I have already recorded reviews on them, and those reviews, um, the files corrupted, and I was never able to release them. So, I may record them again, but that might not happen, so a warning there. So, this guy is Iron Gretna. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If Please tell me what you thought of this set in the comments below. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure that you look in the description to find a link to my second channel, my gaming channel. And consider checking out my survival multiplayer series that I'm doing with my friends. If you enjoyed... Yeah, if you enjoyed this type of video or that type of video, consider describing subscribing to both channels. I'm sorry I'm messing up my words, I'm very tired. Well, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you next time. Farewell.